Hi, I'm Amy and I'm going to talk to you about visiting the doctor. It won't take long and I'm not going to make it a massive lecture. Firstly, going to the doctor isn't a big scary thing you have to freak out about. You can go see the doctor for any reason at all, even if it's not the typical stuff you'd normally think of. Like feeling stressed out about school, a bit down, fighting with your parents, or you just want advice about relationships and sex. Anything. It all starts with one call to make an appointment. Let's use Matt as an example. Matt's nearly finished year 10 and he's feeling a bit overwhelmed by all the assignments and schoolwork. He's not sleeping well, which is making him a bit irritable. And mum and dad are always on his case. Eventually, Matt contacts a GP he heard about through one of his friends. Hello, family practice. Linda speaking. How can I help you? Hi. Um, I want to see a doctor. Sure. Is it urgent? And is there anyone you'd like to see in particular? Uh, it's kind of important. And yes, can I see Dr Chris? Of course. Sometimes you have to wait a bit to see the doctor you want. But uh, I can make you an appointment with Dr Chris next Monday afternoon. Have you been here before? No. That's fine. Uh, can I start with your name, please? Yeah, Matt Titan. The doctor's office just needs your name to make an appointment. You don't have to give any other details at this point. You can ask to see a specific doctor if you have one in mind. Sometimes it's worth asking around your friends to see if anyone knows a good one. There are some clinics where you can just walk in and see whichever doctor is there, but you might have to sit in the waiting room for a while. Now, back to Matt. Uh, what does it cost? Well, each doctor is different, as some doctors do private billing, which means you have to pay up front, but Dr Chris bulk bills, which means you can see the doctor for free and then we'll claim back the cost from Medicare. Oh, okay. Have you got your own Medicare card? Uh, I don't think so. Does that matter? No, no, not at all. Um, you can just either ask your parents for the card number or I can call Medicare directly and get the number for you. Yeah, do that. Sure. Hey, how are you going? I'm good. Um, I'm Matt Tyden. I have an appointment with Dr Chris today. Oh, great. Okay, Matt. Well, since it is your first visit, I need you to just fill in this paperwork. Mm -hmm. And I did ring Medicare like we spoke about on the phone and got your card number. Yeah, you know, because you're 15, Matt, you can actually get your own Medicare card. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is fill in that form mm -hmm. and then take it into any Medicare office with some photo ID. Or you can grab the form online if you want. Okay, thanks. Great, take a seat and the doctor will call you if he's ready. So, remember, when you call the doctor, ask how the practice bills. Some places bulk bill, which means you don't have to pay anything out of your own pocket. Others bill privately, which means you pay up front, but you can claim some of it back from Medicare. You can use your family's Medicare card at any age, and if you're 14 or over, Medicare won't tell anyone that you've used it. If you're 15 or over, you can get your own card. If you don't have your Medicare card with you at the time, the doctor's receptionist can call Medicare and get the card number for you. It is a good idea to talk to mum and dad about getting your own card if you're 15 or over. It makes life simpler for all those involved and it makes you more responsible for your own health. Matt Titan? Yeah. G'day Matt. Come on through. So Matt, how can I help today? Uh... I'm not so sure. Alright, well why don't I start by telling you about trust or confidentiality between patient and doctor. Okay. Everything you tell me today stays between just us. Unless you tell me that you or someone else is going to get seriously harmed. And really rarely for some other legal reasons. Huh? Did he just say he won't tell Matt's parents? Let's clarify that. Excuse me, are you a doctor? I am. Could I ask you a few questions, please? Sure, come to my office. So, tell me about confidentiality. Confidentiality means that whatever you say to the doctor stays with the doctor. They won't tell your parents, the school or your friends unless you have given them your permission. In fact, any young person who comes to see a doctor has the right to confidential advice. Exceptions? Yes. As a doctor, it is always my duty to keep you safe. So I would only need to involve someone to help me care for you if I seriously thought that you or someone else was in real danger. 
For example, if you were being severely harmed or you were planning to hurt yourself or somebody else. Rarely, I might be required by the law to release information from a patient's file. However, if ever I needed to do any of these things, I would talk to you first about who I wanted to have involved and the options you had for going about this. Confidentiality also applies to test results too. I always give them directly to the patient unless they've given me permission to give them to somebody else. Okay, thanks. Now, let's see how Matt's doing. So what's going on, Matt? Uh, I don't know, it's hard to say. Oh, well, why don't you tell me about where you live and what's going on there? Well, that's partly it. Yeah, how so? I'm just always tired and I can't sleep very well. Go on. There's just heaps going on at school. Well, I can help with that. Why don't you tell me a little bit more? Okay, well, ever since I started Year 10, I've been really stressed and I can't seem to keep up with my homework and my mum and dad are always on my back and I've had these really big assignments that I haven't done really well in. There, see, it's easy. You can go see a GP for any reason at all. Even if you're worried it might waste the doctor's time or you think it's too personal or embarrassing. You can go alone or you can take a parent or a friend and the GP won't tell anyone about your session unless there's a good reason. And it can be free, depending on the GP. If you don't feel comfortable with the first GP you see, find another one. There are plenty of sites that can help you find a good one in your area. And remember, a GP is there to help. So what are you waiting for? Amy Langley? Hi, that's me, gotta go.